Hello, this is Jason Payne from Cold Banker Dan Hopper Realtors. On this episode of Realtor Rides, we're looking at my subdivision. Yes, Greenshire in Church, Texas. On this tour, we're going to start off with our grocery store, our school, Green Valley Elementary, and look at the houses in the area. So let's go for a ride. A Realtor Ride. All right. We are going to start off at our HEB Plus. This is a wonderful grocery store, and if you don't know much about it, I have done another video on it. I will add that to the links in the comments section. But we are currently at the intersection of 3009 and I-35. Check the price of gas. We got 178.9. Not too bad if you're living in California. You need to move, be moving to Texas. All right, you got all your restaurants, shopping. Um, just over there is Lowe's. You know what a Lowe's looks like, so I don't need to go show that. All right, let's head down 3009 and see what the distance is to the Greenshire subdivision. I really do love our HEB Plus, and it is really nice having it so conveniently close. As I'm recording this video, it is currently June 24, 2020. So yeah, the weather is starting to heat up in Texas. We are expecting about 93 degrees, I guess, today. But that's not so bad because we're midsummer in Texas. What do you expect? So I got invented air conditioning. All right, just over here, it's gonna be hard to see, is a Taco Cabana. And if you're watching this video somewhere else in the country, Taco Cabana originated here in San Antonio. And um, really good fast food, Mexican food. Uh, once you eat there, you will never eat at Taco Bell again. So uh, they're re reasonably priced and very tasty. We also have our Randolph Brooks Federal Credit Union. Uh, they're very good customer service. I really like banking with them and I also bank with USAA. It's just when I want a brick and mortar building, I go to Randolph Brooks. Let's see, we got a Bill Miller's barbecue right there. They are famous for their breakfast tacos. And uh, yeah, here in Texas, we love our breakfast tacos. Taco Cabana makes them, Bill Miller's makes them. And we have tons of mom and pops, little Mexican places uh, that make some amazing breakfast tacos. Oh, and I forgot to mention the, if you're military, the, uh, well, of course we got Randolph Brooks right down the street from us, but if you're retired military, we have these shirts medical center just on the other side of i-35 from where we started at i recently had shoulder surgery and it's really nice having physical therapy appointments and stuff all right there very convenient i have lived in greenshire subdivision for oh hell gonna be nine years come this july so obviously i like living here i uh, thoroughly enjoy living uh with easy access to San Antonio if I want to go down there, but I do spend more time going north on I-35 towards New Braunfels, because I really like New Braunfels. But this is a perfect place in between. You do have easy access to, like I said, Randolph Air Force Base, Fort Sam. It's about a 25 minute drive. There's the Anchor Bar. They make uh, some really good wings and they have even tastier beer. All right, in this strip mall here, we have Garcia's. It's a really good Tex-Mex place. Uh, oh my gosh, I love their chips and salsa. And, well, all their food's really good. All right, noticed uh, we do have beautiful trees here. They've done a really good job of uh, not leveling them. This area has been around for a little while.
All right, Greenshire subdivision is known for the red brick walls surrounding it and all throughout it. This is the outskirts of it. You do have a convenience store, gas station, a CVS with a red box all right here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the Greensire subdivision. This is the way I come home when I do come home. All right, beautiful entry into this subdivision. I really like coming home this way. A little history about the subdivision. It was built in two different sections. This front part here, is primarily custom homes they're gonna have a little more character like these little islands in the middle um, beautiful homes they're mostly built in the mid 90s but look at these trees really nice I recently sold a house in the front part of this subdivision and uh, had to fight with the appraiser and I won because I was able to prove to them that Greenshire is basically two different subdivisions ones with all these custom homes these because of all the trees and everything else they are going to be a little more expensive than the back part of the homes so when an appraiser does an appraisal they're looking at the whole subdivision and I had to explain to him you cannot look at the whole subdivision in here because it's you can't compare you have to compare apples to apples and this front half of the subdivision is so much nicer not not to mention the back sides not nice but this is really nice I mean, look at that beautiful home Well, like I said, having the convenience to everything in this subdivision is really, it's hard to beat. Okay, that subdivision, that section is right in front of us, real similar to this one, so I'm not going to waste our time going through there. Our drainage area, oh, and the FYI, there is a nice dog walking trail through there, or just hiking trails through the woods. And they've got another one going through here. So, uh, yeah, even you're convenient to everything, but it's nice to go and feel like you're back in the woods. Sure, let's go down this one. Make sure I'm in the right gear. But this section here would be considered still the front part of Greenshire. I've been in several of these homes. It's kind of hit and miss to see which ones have been updated and which ones have not. But man, these houses do not come on the market much and uh, for obvious reasons. People get in here and they stay. Oh, I want to live in one of these uh, little mini cul-de-sacs. If you sense the jealousy in my voice about this front part, it is real. I would love to live in this front part, but I live in the back part of the subdivision. The way fees in this subdivision are $130 a month. And that covers like the landscaping, the wall maintenance, and all these beautiful islands and stuff. So we do not have a neighborhood pool. I have heard rumors that in this front part of the subdivision they do plan to build a park, but we know how rumors are. We'll see. Wait, did I say $130 a month? I meant $130 a year. So that's really not bad. I will pay $130 a year just to make sure my subdivision looks nice. All right, now we're going back to the second half of the subdivision where they're still gonna be quite nice, but this is the half that I live in. 
we still pay the same $130 a year for uh, HOAs. The Meadows at Greenshire. No, I did not blow that stop sign. Do not call the cops on me. <laughs> All right, see, like I said, it's still pretty darn nice back here. Everybody keeps their lawns up pretty well. And I really like the, when I first moved into this subdivision, it was a much older uh, demographics. But in the last couple of years, more and more kids have moved in. Families with uh, kids have moved in this subdivision. And uh, it's really kind of fun during Halloween last year. Oh my gosh, we had like a, we like morphed into one giant mob of families with kids going through here. It was quite fun. I feel bad for all of a sudden people having like very limited kids come up for trick or treat and then a mob of them came up at once. But everyone's really well uh, behaved in this neighborhood, very quiet. Um, like I said, you do see quite a few kids out riding their bicycles sometimes. But we still got some beautiful houses. A little kid there waving. I have sold a couple of houses in this subdivision already. I kind of mentioned that already before. I guess I'm rambling on now. We're coming up to the back end of the subdivision. Love those crepe myrtles. All right, coming into this cul-de-sac here. Oh, wait. Who's that handsome devil right there? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I do have another listing here in uh, Greenshire Subdivision at 1692. Remember, it is 24 July, so uh, I can't guarantee how long this listing is going to be on, but it did just hit the market, so uh, schedule your showing if you've seen this video. Alrighty, well that's a brief tour of the subdivision that I live in. If you got any questions, my information is going to be on the final slide of this tour. Like I said, oh wait, we can't end it just yet. We haven't seen the elementary school. Let's go check that out. A more little cul-de-sac living there. Yeah, my daughter went to uh, the elementary school for the subdivision. It's Green Valley Elementary School, and she absolutely loved it. And if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I've mentioned that I am retired Air Force, and they have a Veterans Day celebration, which kind of got me choked up a little bit. What they do is have all the kids come out in the hall and all the veterans and active duty parents come out and we get to go walking through the schools and they're all doing the whole USA and thank you to all the veterans because this is a very high military community. All right, this section we're driving through now is not part of the Greensire subdivision. It's uh, this is actually now Cibolo, Texas. It's weird how shirts and Cibolo are so intertwined, but uh, you do, I do come walking through the subdivision quite a bit because it's absolutely beautiful. But this is the way you would go to drop off your kiddos to school. So I'm gonna add this to the tour. And just like the front part of the subdivision, this section here, Houses don't come on the market very much because, well, just look at them. It's beautiful, and the people who've lived here have lived here for a very long time, and they're not very, they don't pack up a move very often. 
not like the rest of the subdivision because while the military influence we do have houses come and go on the market quite a bit all right this is green valley road All right, and this is, I'll take you through what the carpool line would be dropping your kids off at the Green Valley Grizzlies. Yeah, I picked my daughter up here when she was attending kindergarten. She now goes to the Founders Classical Academy. That's not a knock on this school, just my wife started teaching at Founders, and uh, it was really great. But this is the school of uh, Green Valley really good school they uh, are a big big leader in me school my wife knows what that is but uh, there they go they do have a covered uh, play area there so uh, yeah Texas Sun even in the fall gets a little crazy so it's good to have shade I don't know why that guy was sleeping there. Interesting. All right, now I'll go and do my little wrap up thing. If you're interested in uh, learning more about the Greensire subdivision, or if you like videos like this, or you're just trying to get to know the area, I've gotten quite a few uh, positive response for doing something a little different than uh, up what other realtors do. I've tried to bring you into the community and be a little more personable about it. And uh, so far, it's been a pretty good hit. I like it. So I will keep making these videos. Um, if you have any subdivisions you want me to do a realtor ride tour of, feel free to put it in the comments. Uh, and I'll do my best to get out there as soon as possible when I'm not actively helping people relocate here. Because, oh my gosh, people are moving here from all over the country. And me as a realtor, I'm happy to help them. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and sign off now, and I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.